back to another video and today we play Burnley in the third round of the FA Cup. The FA Cup is a massive competition which we definitely need to take seriously. I've been looking forward to this fixture for a little while since we got the draw. It's our first time playing in the FA Cup so the only thing you can go off really is league form and we're starting to pick up a little bit of form especially at home. In our last five league games we've won four and in Burnley's last five league games they've only won one so we're definitely on better form than them and seeing as we're at home we should be getting the win today. We travelled up to Burnley earlier on this season only a couple months into Ange Postecoglou lose appointment at the club and it was a massive win we beat them 5-2 that was when we were going on our fantastic start at the beginning of the season Sonny even scored a hat trick so hopefully more of the same today but you're looking at Burnley they're sitting 19th in the Premier League table and they don't really have the squad to play FA Cup games and Premier League games so will they be focusing on survival that could be the case but we definitely need to push for this because we got knocked out in the second round of the League Cup against Fulham we played a weakened squad and after this match the next game is against Manchester United away in nine days time so it's not like like we have any midweek games to balance the squad out so we should be chucking everything at this game to guarantee the progression in the FA Cup start as we mean to go on because if we can challenge for this that will be huge for us and who knows we could even lift the trophy this year we've got to stay positive because we're struggling in the league a little bit top four finish in the FA Cup could you imagine that you go you know what? we've got to stay positive I'm going to stay confident today as we should do I'm going to go for a 3-0 score prediction fingers crossed we can keep that clean sheet that we've been looking for for a while if you guys want to enjoy this video make sure you drop a like Subscribe for post notifications and let's head up to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and progress in the FA Cup from the Spurs. Yes guys, we've arrived at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for the third round clash of the FA Cup against Burnley. The teams are now out, a little bit of rotation down to a few reasons. First of all, Sonny goes out. He's in Korea competing in the Asia Cup. So he's out with the team for I think five or six weeks. So that's going to be a big hit for us. But we can see Benchka come back after his injury again. Let's hope he doesn't get injured again. Also, Mickey van der Ven's on the bench. So we could see him coming in in the second half, warming him up before the Man United game next week. But it's a pretty strong team, strong midfield, strong attack. Burnley are playing their typical 4 4 2. I think we should have more than enough to break them down today. Fingers crossed, we can get an early goal. Vicario can keep that clean sheet and we get a convincing win to put us through to the fourth round. Right guys, half time at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, still nil nil in this game, a bit frustrating because we've created so many chances, we're just literally pressing them, pressing them this whole of the first half, but we haven't managed to get the ball at the back of the net, this is one of them games where if we still had Harry game, we'd literally be 3 nil up at this point, but the thing is we need to come out in this second half and keep the pressure on because we can't relax now, we're still drawing. This could even go to a replay if it's a draw, which we definitely don't need. So we need to focus on getting this win, getting through to the fourth round and focusing on the rest of our Premier League game, which I think we can do. We just need to come out in this second half, more of the same, and I'm sure the goals will come. I think once we get one, the floodgates will open and we should be able to get a few more. It's just keeping that clean sheet, because if one goes in, then it will be difficult to pull back with not much time to go. So come out in this second half, get an early goal and secure these three points, go through to the fourth round. Come into place. Oh. oh my god! Oh, what a finish! Yes! I did not expect that! Yes! We're struggling a little bit, only 10 15 minutes to go, but the ball drops out wide. I think it was Pedro Poro. What a finish that was! What a finish! Took it first time. Straight in the corner, he had no chance, 10 minutes to go. Oh, what a finish, come on. Come on, Seth. Oh. Scarlett alone. Oh. On Tottenham, Burnley's last chance of the game. Win that, no. Yes guys, full time at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. We kept the clean sheet, we got the win, winning 1-0. We got a bit nervous at the end of that game. When that corner went in and the goalkeeper won the header, I just thought it's only going one way, it's going to get knocked in, but it didn't. The ball went out, we got the win, putting us through to the fourth round. It's a long way to go, but I really hope that we can have a good cup run this year. We're out of the League Cup like we know. The FA Cup's a massive competition that we can really compete in and hopefully get as far as possible, even potentially the final, who knows. But especially as our players are going to be 
coming back. And in a month's time, we'll be back up to full strength. So, a pretty positive performance, still some negatives to take, but we've got to win. On to the next one, we go away to Manchester United next Sunday. They're on 4 4, we should be beating them. Getting three points up there will be massive for us. Mickey van der Ven will be back. Unfortunately, Romero is still out. Sonny's going to be away. But Ben is back. Basuma is back. The strong defence, the strong midfield. We just need to find that creativity up front and get them goals next Sunday. We'll be there at Old Trafford. Make some drop a like. There's no first notification. There's no for Zavala in the future vlog. Until the next one, we'll be first.